na 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 People of God, today be prepared. Mommy, they should have the, the, the keys, right? I have them. Okay, daughter has. Excellent. You covered children. Be blessed of the Lord and enjoy yourselves. We'll see you soon. Hallelujah. Brethren, we have invited a very powerful man of God all the way from the Republic of South Africa. We've known Bishop Siley for quite some time. We are friends to his ministry. His ministry are friends to Kingdom Dominion Church. And today he has come to bless us. Those who are not here, they have missed big time. Hallelujah. Amen. They have missed big time from here. We'll be rushing straight to Chelsea. There is yet another um, uh, uh, preaching engagement that he has there at the New Generation Service. So from here, we are just packing our bags and it's going to be military. Amen. Amen. It's going to be military. So we'll be, we'll be moving fast and you've got to catch up with us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what's going to happen is that Bishop will come here and he's going to take us. In the next 40, 40 to 50 minutes, oh, let, let me come back. If, uh, if, uh, if at all uh, we can, we can go to an hour, but if we can do it within that time, so that we have time to go and get to, to Chelsea, we'll do just that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I would like to say welcome, Mom from Haiti, Mrs. Lamusneri. Uh, I used to butcher that name, but Sister Tamara kept on reminding me that's not how it's pronounced uh, in Haiti. Uh, we are mourning with you on the on the losses that you have in the in the family, and uh, we will be talking to you after after the service. Thank you for coming, man. Brethren, shall we put our hands together as we invite the man of God, seasoned man of God, powerful. Moves in prophecy, healing, deliverance, Ma mention it. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. I will lead you yes. to welcome the other men of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, greetings to everyone in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, we are very blessed uh, to be in this place. What a great honor. And I am very blessed to see all of you here today. And I know that the Lord God surely will add value to our lives. Amen. We cannot walk in his presence and walk out the same. Mm. It's impossible. It's an error to be corrected. Amen. Because he is here, he, we are in his presence. Our prayer is that he should impact our lives. Amen. 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 Praise be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, Pastor Z has been introduced to us. But Pastor Z and the family, they are very special people that God has really, really, really given unto us. Um, you cannot do ministry on your own. You need people around you. Uh, Pastor Z, they have been covering me uh, with their media and loving me and giving me all the there is, monies, foods, and everything to make sure that uh, I do the ministry. And I really thank God for them. I will forever thank God for them because you cannot do this by yourself. You need people around you. Yes. And, uh, and uh, also it's, it's a blessing uh, to be also in the company of, uh, of Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul is very, very unique because uh, uh, his commitment. You know me, I'm a very committed man to God. But this man challenges me. You know, to come here, he drove for, is it about six hours, man? No, yeah, from Syracuse to Paul and I here. So from Syracuse to Connecticut to this place, only to be with us in this service. Amen. I know I am committed, but that level, uh, God should help me. God should bless you. Even if there is no one here blessed, you will be blessed. Amen. Because there is, such commitments are dangerous before the Lord. Amen. And, and, uh, I don't know. And the Lord is doing something. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Masua, Amen. Apostle Masua, Pastor Amen. Margaret, 
What a privilege. We thank God for your lives and that you can have us even in the shortest possible time. Amen. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Kumba Tamba, thank you for coming. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Mwanza, you know now. God must just bless you for me. Amen. Praise the Lord and everyone in here. Uh, I don't have time. Uh, I need to rush the service. Hallelujah. So I want us to go to the word of God. But before we do, shall we bow our heads and I'll pray. Our dear heavenly father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to come before you, before your presence, oh Lord of God, this day. Lord God Almighty, I want to bless you because of who you are. I want to give you glory because God, you are kind. Father, we thank you for what you have given us, what you are going to give us, and what you will, O Lord of God, do in our midst. Father God, we thank you that your word, O God, let it be preached, O God, with precision. And O Lord of God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that O God Almighty, you yourself, minister unto us. Give us, O Lord of God, Father, today your word that will transform us to the glory of your name. Bless us. Use me, O God, even as I stand before your holy people. And, O Lord of God, let me be just, but just a vessel. O God, speak through me and bring down, O God, that which you want. God, to you be all the praise and to you be all the glory. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, thanksgiving, we pray. Everybody agree and say amen. 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 Lift up your right hand and say, My Father, My Father, Father if you bless anybody today, if you bless anybody today, bless me. Bless me. If you change anybody today, if you change anybody today, change me. Change me. Open my fire. Open my fire. And read it. And read it. Change things. Change things. Help my life. Help my life. To get its destiny. To get its destiny. Designed by you. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to say to us. I want to decree a decree. I decree today, and I decree in the name of Jesus, standing on this gracious altar. I said, may the Lord grant unto you heavenly designed life. Amen. Because before you were born, there was a life mm -hmm. that God already read, wrote about you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You already finished project, God knows already about you. Hallelujah. May you live that life Amen. that heaven wrote about you Amen. before you were born in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. That life is better Amen. than the one we live by our own power Amen. in the name of Jesus. Now, Amen. before I can go to the word of God, I want us, I want to say something as a ground rule. Because I've never stood in this hotel before to declare the word. Even as I am preaching now, may the waves of God touch even the people in the rooms. Amen. Yes. I want to say to you, I want you to desire, I want you to desire the spiritual or divine aspect of your life more than anything. Ah, let me repeat myself. I said, look, I know you are living in this world, 100% in the flesh, but you are born again child of the living God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I want you to desire you know, let me give you an example. Jesus went on to the other side to go and minister. And the people where he was ministering, when they heard that Jesus had gone that side, they all went. And by the time Jesus got there, they were there. Jesus looked at them. He said, yeah, you people, you are not here eh, because of the signs and wonders. He said, you are here because of the food that I gave you. You understand what I'm saying? So Jesus looked at their spiritual condition. He was disappointed because these people were full of only material needs in their lives. They were not desiring the supernatural. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were, they were desiring to eat food. But God, Jesus said to them, Ah, you people, why are you doing this? Why have you troubled, uh, troubled yourself so much to come here? Is it not because you saw the food I gave you the other day? Why are you not here for signs and wonders? So I am saying to you, you are a child of the living God. One thing you should do and one thing you should try for, it is that you need also to operate supernaturally. Amen. Yes. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Enough of the flesh. Enough, Enough of the flesh. flesh. There is also the supernatural side. There is also the supernatural Say to your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. switch. To the, to the supernatural. You are a child of the most high. You are a child of the most high. 
Somebody shout and say hallelujah. Am I saying something to someone? As much as you are strong in the flesh, I want you also to be strong in the supernatural. You will never enjoy Christianity if you are majoring. I like in school, you know, when you study, they tell you what you want to major. Oh, I majored in accounting. Or you study something, but you major in. So you as a believer, I don't know why I'm saying these things. You need to major. Major. Mm. Also in the super that nobody will do that thing except you. Mm-hmm. Please, I beg you in the somebody hold your head. Say, my father in heaven. Father help in me heaven. to transit. Uh, help, help me to transit. To the supernatural. To the supernatural. There is nobody that will do it except you. God has called you from your village. He called you from where you are. He called you from a bar and a nightclub. You were busy having, I don't know how many girlfriends in Chicago, three, in in, in Massachusetts, two, in uh, you, it was like a hobby. But the Lord said, leave all of them, come to church, come and worship me, and you became a worshiper, not for you again to live so much in flesh. Mr. Mwanza, no, life is not only in flesh. You are a born again believer. You, which means you need, my God. Am I talking to anybody? Yes, yes. Wow. As much as you are operating in the flesh, but also I want you to start, you know, grafting. Uh, uh, how do you say in English again? You know, you start moving into supernatural. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, no. I, I, I don't like your amen. Your amen. amen. Your amen, amen sounds like uh, it has kwashoka <laughs> and uh, polio <laughs> or autism. Listen to me. Shout amen like a believer. Amen. Amen. This, this is what you need. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some of you who are so powerful in the flesh. Oh, they should see you work. You can work like a machine. They should see you count dollars. <laughs> count like a machine. See you budgeting. My God, people can budget like they are top chartered accountants. But powerful budget, you know, when I move this. <laughs> huh? Then I'll get a car, then I'll get a house, then I'll build a house. Then I'll... Powerful. Look at the number, say neighbor. Neighbor. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are very powerful in the flesh. Very but what about in the spirit? What about, what about in the spirit? spirit? Look at your neighbor say, another neighbor, look at them and hit them in the hand and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. What about in the spirit? What about in the spirit? Hallelujah. I want some giant spiritual. I don't know if I'm going to preach now anymore. Because this thing is taking me off. I want giants spiritually. Hallelujah. My God. I don't know about you, but when we were born again, eh, you remember some of you. When you were born again, even when you sit in a taxi, in a, in a kumbi, in a minibus, huh? demons possessed man next to you, start manifesting. Yes. <laughs> oh, a sangoma will look for another seat. <laughs> the fire I am carrying. Yes. I said the fire I carry. I can make anybody who's demon possessed to be very uncomfortable. Yes. Uh, if I move into a, into a vicinity, if I move into a neighborhood, and there is a satanist there, and there is a, a witch doctor there, uh, because I have moved there, no more operation. Yes. That's right. That's true. Look at your neighbor and ask them, my neighbor, where is that person? Where is that person? <laughs> Hallelujah. Nowadays, you sit next to a demon. The demon is even, say, neighbor, how are you doing? (laughs) How far? How far now? (laughs) Pastor Paul, what happened? (laughs) Hallelujah. My God, I wish I can preach today. Maybe we'll just stay there and then we'll go. You know, you know, children of God, this is the desire of heaven. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That you can be a spirit man. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mind you, Rebecca, it is not that you are three in one, isn't it? Yeah. As, as God is three in one, so are you. The Bible says you are a spirit who lives in the body and you have a soul. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. You are what? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are looking at the spirit here. I move like a spirit. I talk like a spirit. Hallelujah. Am I saying anything that is okay for you? But no. What America has done, he has come to switch off the spirit. 
the spirit man is off. What you have is flesh. That's why when we say to you, let us kill our enemies. Ooh. So bring photos next week to kill our enemies. There's no space here. They are coming from everywhere. Photos, this is my aunt, has broke our families forever. We must kill him. And then we are here. Kill them. Father, every enemy must die. Every flesh, anger, revenge. We want it. But yet there is a spirit man in you. And God is connecting with you with a spirit man. Amen. So that you can be God in this world. Why is God in heaven? That's right. You are a God in this world. Mm -hmm. While God is God in heaven. heaven. That's right. The Bible says as he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. May the spirit man in you, May the spirit man in you arise. Arise. May the spirit man in you start to talk. Start to talk. I want you to dream as a spirit person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. How are you people? Because of someone here, I was speaking this word. I think this word is very prophetic to someone. Because it's not what I planned. No. I'm a well-planned person. Very much in flesh. Flag. <laughs> as I was, as I was pray, praying here, I entered into the spirit, and the spirit of God revealed this message I'm telling you now Amen. to you. Which means, prophetically, God wants to shift someone yes. here from where you are right now yes. into a certain level of spirituality. Yes. Child of the living God, America can never change until you become spiritual. Yes. Make money, but also move in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I cannot hear. I cannot hear you. I may shout Amen there. God bless you. Hallelujah. And the same spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Take the hand of your neighbor like this. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Shake them. Shake them a bit. They say, neighbor. neighbor. May the spirit in you. May the spirit in you. The lion in you. The lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Of arise in you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy. I decree and I declare in the name of the Father, God of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you are a believer, shout and say, Yeah. Roll yes. like a lion and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need the spirit man in you. Because the flesh man cannot even know how to give. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Giving is spiritual. That's why when you're in flesh, you'll bring one dollar. Singing and dancing. Because you are flesh. Flesh is stingy. <laughs> flesh will tell you exactly what will happen in the next five years. <clears throat> Have a solid plan for ten years. It's not wrong to plan. Planning is of God. God has also given you wisdom. I'm not saying cancel it. No, you must do it. But I want you also to major. Major. You know, some of you went to school a lot. You don't learn everything. You major. Huh? No, I'm studying uh, anthropology, majoring in uh, skintology. <laughs> that is the study of the skin. <laughs> skintology. Uh, don't say dermatology. No, don't say that. That is wrong. Skintology. Are we ready to hear the word of God? But for a little while, I will run with you. And then please open your ears. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed already? Amen. We're going to close the service now. The prophetic word has already gone into our lives. Amen. I pray that from today uh, until we meet when Jesus comes, Amen. may you be strong in the spirit. Yes. Amen. When you're strong in the spirit, that's where your identity is. Your identity is not in the flesh. Your identity is in the spirit. Mm. And in the flesh you succumb to what the spirit is doing. And that glory shall rest upon your life. Amen. Amen. Today I want to speak to us very speedily with a message I have entitled The Glory of God's House. The Glory of God's House. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell them you are better than this. You are better, better than this. this. Somebody say, I am better than this. I am better, better than this. Exodus chapter 40 and verse 34. Exodus. Exodus 40, 34. Exodus. You know Exodus where it is, right? Yes. Uh, if you can't find Exodus, I'm telling you. 
Yes, you need deliverance. <laughs> okay, chapter 40. Who is there? Please, you can read for us. 34. 40, 34. Let's read. Somebody read for me. Sorry, 34. Uh, you can start 33. And he raised up the court all around the tabernacle and the altar mm. and hung up the screen of the court gate mm. so that Moses, so Moses finished the work. So Moses finished the work. Go ahead. Then the cloud covered the tabernacle of meeting mm -hmm. and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle of meeting mm -hmm. because the cloud rested above it mm -hmm. and the glory of the Lord filled the filled tabernacle. The tabernacle. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, I want you to understand something. Every house, every house is known by its glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Every house is known by its glory. <laughs> If you go to a nightclub, eh, there is a glory that a nightclub carries. Mm -hmm. eh? The music is even, the, the walls are even like vibrating. Mm -hmm. so boom, boom, boom. And there is a light shining like the, the shade of my brother there. <laughs> shining. <laughs> Hallelujah. The light is shining, confusing you more. And the place is smelling beer. And the women are wearing powerful dresses that can never ever go beyond their thighs. And they're dancing. The glory of the night. You people have never been in the nightclub. Born again since you were born. <laughs> As some of us. Hallelujah. You know you, are in the, you know you are in the nightclub. When you go in the parliament, there is the glory of the parliament. Hallelujah. It's not the same like nightclub, isn't it? No. When you go in the stadium and the, the best teams are playing like Celtics. Mm -hmm. huh? Is playing the finals. Against a, I don't know your teams. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you get into that stadium, there is a glory of the stadium, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, when you go into a Sangoma's house or a witch doctor's house or a voodoo man's house, when you get there, you feel the glory of that place because demons are all over. Mm -hmm. Some of you you're here will be even standing straight. Mm -hmm. You know here is no playing matter. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Even a graveyard has its own glory. Mm -hmm. When you're passing through graveyard, there's just a certain feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're about to die or something. <laughs> so, so I'm saying every house has its glory. Say amen. amen. Now, even the house of God, mm -hmm. it is known. Because every house is known by its glory. So even the house of God is known by its glory. Yes. The Bible says Moses built the temple mm -hmm. according to the standards God laid or told him to do. Mm -hmm. And when he had finished the work, according to our reading, the Bible says that then <laughs> the Lord's fire came down. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God's presence came and he filled the tabernacle. Yeah? No, not so much that Moses could not go in to minister anymore. Why? Because the whole temple of God was filled by its glory, by the glory of God. Now, the glory of God in that temple was a signature that God was putting upon the temple that this place, it is my house. Amen. So the glory of God was a signature Amen. to say that this is my house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Which means if it's a God's house, it must carry God's glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It must carry God's glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Please read again. Read again. Go to book of, of our second Chronicles, chapter 7, I think. 1 to 5 or to 4, somewhere there. Read it. Uh, uh, we're reading from second Chronicles, right? Mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 7, from verse 1. When Solomon had finished praying. When this man also finished building the house of the Lord, and then he started to dedicate the house of the Lord unto the Lord. Uh huh. Fire came down from heaven. Fire number one came down. And consumed the burnt offering. Then consumed the sacrifices. And the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And the glory of the Lord filled the temples. So much that. And the priest could not enter the house of the The Lord. ministry of man was irrelevant. Because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. Mm -hmm. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you know children of the living God? This is the standard when the house of the Lord has been built. 
from ancient times, when the house of the Lord has been built to perfection, and then when you finish building to perfection, you dedicate it unto the Lord. As you are dedicating it unto the Lord, you must know that sacrifice is always required. Mm. So there is always a sacrifice when you are dedicating something unto the Lord. And then the sacrifice was there, and the Bible says, and fire. Somebody shout and say fire. Fire. Came down from heaven and consumed the sacrifice. And the glory of God came and filled the whole temple. So much that ministers, it was irrelevant for them to minister. I am here to tell you something. When God comes down and fills the temple, there is no need for any man to minister. Oh, let me say it again. There is no need for any man to come and help you. Because when God comes down, he comes down in a full measure. He comes down with power. He comes down with solution. He comes down to, to deliver. He comes down to heal. When he comes, anything which is a problem in your life must start running for its life. It must start disappearing by the power of the presence of God. What is the glory of God? The glory of God is the presence of God. What is the glory of God? The glory of God is the weight of the glory of the presence of God. Is the weight of the, glo of the glory of God. Or oh, the presence of God. The weight. That is the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, can you read for me in the book of, uh, let's say, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and uh, verse... Let's say verse 9. Chapter 3, verse 9. Corinthians. I'm getting somewhere quickly. For we are God's fellow workers, and you are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, Praise and Lord. another builds on it. Okay, okay. I want to hear what you said at first. You said you are what? Start again. For we are God's fellow workers. God's fellow workers. And you are God's field. And you are God's field, my God. What, what, God's what, what an identity. And then the last one was that? You, you are, are God's, God's building. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. You are God's fellow worker. You are God's fellow worker. Can you imagine if you are fellow workers with Trump? Mm. Huh? Donald S.K. Trump is your workmate. I mean, you are working in some office. Pastor Paul. You will speak English and not sweet from Ghana. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You are work. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, but, but Trump, Trump is just next. Say, how, how are you, sir? Same. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, everybody will fear you the way they fear Trump. Mm -hmm. Everybody will honor you the way they honor him. Mm -hmm. The man works with Trump. You understand what I'm saying? That now, here is the president of presidents, the king of kings, Amen. the lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, yes. the beginning and the end. Him who was, who is, and the one to come. Yes. Now, he, he, the Bible says, the Bible says, we are co workers. Co workers. Ah, you with Jesus, my daughter. Same people. Uh, what am I saying? You and Jesus. Co you people you have never read this scripture. Co-workers. Mm. Equal. My God. Ah, yeah, yeah. I am not saying that we are equal to Jesus, but I'm saying co-workers. Because him, he has given us the ability. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he said, not only that, you are God's field. God is plowing in you. God is doing projects in you. God's field. Mm. Do you know the plot of the president? If the president has a plot, from the day he buys a plot, he will put security guards there. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Armed men with soldiers. Why? It is the plot of the president. Mm -hmm. It is a royal plot. Mm -hmm. You are you are a field of God. Mm -hmm. I look at you and say, you don't understand who you are. You, you are a field of God. And the Bible says on top of that, he says you are what? You are the God. building. God's building, mm. the house of the Lord. I want you to know, God does not live anymore mm. in houses built with the hands of men. Mm. But God has decided to move all the way from heaven, come into the temple, from the temple. Now he has come into us. The Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. I don't like your amen. I said you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Do you know what it means to be a temple of the Holy Spirit? It means Holy Ghost himself is living in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Holy Ghost himself is living in you. Okay? Now, I am asking you a question today. If you be the house of the Lord, where is his glory? Let me repeat myself. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are God's field. You are God's uh, building. The signature of God is upon your life. So if you be, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. If you be the house of the Lord. If you be the house of the Lord. Where is his glory? Where is his glory? Is, is, is my preaching today. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. If I be the house of the Lord. Where is his glory? Now I want you to understand. Graft away. Grift. How do we say it in English? Drift away from flesh into the spiritual. Where you belong. I said where you belong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to be in flesh. I want you to understand something. You are God building. The temple of God. Listen to me. Look in the history and see the other temples. What happened to them. When they were built and they were finished. And they sacrificed and they dedicated them to God. The Bible says and the glory of God came and filled those temples. And I am saying to you. If God is, 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 is in you and you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Surely let there be the, the glory of God coming to fill you in the temple. Why? Because you are the building of God. Yes. So if you be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Ask, let me ask you a question. In French we say. Je voudrais poser une question. You don't know French? <laughs> Hallelujah. If you be the Lord's house, then where is his glory? Mm. Now, I want you from here to be provoked in spirit. You know me, I come from very far. I cannot just tell you some, some stories. No, no, no. I have come to provoke you, to take you where you belong. Yes. And that is in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your strength is in the spirit. Amen. Your victory is in the spirit. Amen. Your breakthrough is in the spirit. Amen. Your healing is in the spirit. Amen. Everything, the word of God is the spirit. They said, Jesus said, the words I speak to you are what? Life and the spirit. There is nothing flesh about the word of God. So you cannot be strong in the flesh and you don't know anything in the spirit. So if you be the house of the Lord, question is where is his glory hallelujah now let me tell you something in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 9 the Bible says and the glory of the latter house <laughs> shall be what more than the glory of the former <laughs> my church is lost let me speak to the pastor the Bible says in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 9, it says, and the glory of the latter house, mm. Mm. hallelujah, Amen. shall be what? More. Greater. Shall be greater. greater. More than what? The that former. of the former house. Now, if the house built by Moses, the hands of man, mm. could you receive the glory of God? Mm. The house built by Solomon, Mm -hmm. Could receive the glory of God. Mm -hmm. How much more in the latter times, in our times now, by time of the Holy Ghost, how much more will you possess that glory? From today I decree and I declare unto somebody who is hearing me that may God release his glory over your life, for you are a temple of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. If they saw the glory before, and they said it's nothing compared to the one of the latter times. These are the latter times. You are the latter house yes. of the living God. Yes. So therefore the glory must come upon you yes. like there is never before in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare that the glory, the weight, presence of Almighty God rest upon you. Amen. In the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. Shout amen. amen like a believer. Amen. Shout fire like a believer. Fire. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Somebody raise up your hand and say, My Father in heaven. My Father in heaven. Do not leave me empty. Do not leave me empty. I am your co worker. I am your co worker. As you are, I am. As you are, I am. I am your field. I am your field. And I am your building. 
Don't leave me empty. Don't leave me empty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Are we saying something here? Amen. In the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 9, the, 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 verse 18, the Bible says, here was a man of God, Moses. You know, next time you're coming in my meeting, Mr. Uh, uh, Tucker, come with a pen and a paper. Don't trust a head of yours. <laughs> Write down my notes. You will not find them anywhere. They are not on the internet. They are challenging me with technology. No? <laughs> With flesh. <laughs> Get in the spirit, my friend. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is anybody getting blessed? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Moses was before God. And God said to him, Ah, you have found favor in my eyes. Moses said, Hey, oh, Jesus, oh, God. I found favor in your eyes. Huh? Show me your way. Huh? If I found favor in your eyes. Verse 18, he said, show me your glory. <laughs> oh, show me your glory. What's your name again? Clarice. Clarice. This must be your prayer. This must be your prayer as a believer. What is your prayer? You cry to God like Moses when you are in the presence of God. It's not for you to say, give me a shoe, give me a job, give me a husband, give me the, all these are material stuff. Forget them. The Bible says they will be all dead onto your life. Say automatically. automatically. Yes. Hallelujah. You are supposed to be looking for real stuff, tangible stuff, something that can move your life. And you say to God like Moses, pray like Moses. And you say, Father, show me oh, your glory. I do not want to remain empty. Hallelujah. Amen. Where are you in the spiritual realm? You are, oh my God, God himself has called you that you are the house of the Lord, the temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot, you are not supposed to be an Ichabod. No, no, no. You are supposed to possess the glory of God. The glory of God. I'm speaking to you, say, that is my message. That is my message. No, no, only those I'm speaking to. You know, not everybody can receive. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Can you imagine, Rebecca, you are moving in the glory of God. Mm. The glory of God is with you. Mm. Uh, Pastor Paul. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? <laughs> you are moving. And the, the Holy Ghost has accompanied you. Mm. Glory of God is all over you. Ha! Go for an interview. Whether you pass interview or you fail, if you want that job, I give it to you. Yeah, yeah. The glory will give it to you. Yes. Ah, they say you are ugly, you can never get married. It is a lie. Yeah. They say, no, you are too old, you can never get married. It is a lie. Yeah. When the glory of God comes upon you, He yeah. beautifies you and He'll give you whatever you're looking for in the name of Jesus. Even when the doctors have said you will die glory. in the next, I don't know how long, you glory. will die. This sickness is incurable. Glory. Let the glory of God fill you. Uh -huh. When the glory of God comes upon you with the declaration of the doctor, it does not matter. With the declaration of the medical staff, it does not matter. Even if they say this and they say that, children of God, you are moving with the glory of God. And what happens before you realize the sickness? We will say bye bye. Glory. Incurable sicknesses are curable by the glory of God. The glory of God is the weight presence of the weight of the presence of God. There is nothing God cannot do. Ha! I said there is nothing God cannot do. Amen. You'll get your miracle. Amen. I said you will Amen. get your miracle. Amen. I said you are getting your breakthrough. Amen. I said you are getting what you are looking for. Amen. I said God is about to impact your life Amen. by the power of his glory in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. If you are a believer, shout and say yeah. 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 Amen. Somebody lift up your right hand. Say my father. My, my father. father. Where is my glory? Where Lord is my glory? glory? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hi, we are supposed to finish. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 1. The Bible says, Arise and shine, isn't it? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says what? Arise and shine. Uh-huh. 
you see. The reason you are rising and shining, your light has come, but it is because you, the glory is what? Risen upon. There is glory in you, but it must rise. Amen. Do you understand me, Mamita? That is the glory of God. Clarence, the glory of God in you. Eh? You are dangerous inside there. There are some things inside there you have not tapped into. And I am afraid that you might die without tapping into that which God has given unto you. A lot of people have died without getting to the place where God has destined them to be. And they think they have arrived. You have arrived where? You don't understand. I have a house. I have a car. You think that is arrival? Do you know how poor you are? No, no, do you understand how poor you are? Because your, your prayer is that, oh, uh, God, uh, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are yours. One cup. Abraham's blessings is yours. You have arrived because of one house. One six-bedroom house. You are thinking you are, my God. Look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor. Be careful with me. Be careful with me. Abraham. Huh? Abraham's blessings. Do you know how rich Abraham was? Mm. No, just to give you a little bit of story. The man had 350 or 320 servants. Mm. Huh? And all of them were married. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In his house. Mm -hmm. 300 and something. Are you? Say, I have arrived. Where have you arrived? <laughs> <laughs> how many servants do you have? Do you have a garden outside? Do you have a security guard? Do you have a driver? Do you have a, uh, do you do you do you have a chef? Do you have a cleaner? Do you have the ironer? Somebody who irons your clothes only, he goes home. Three, my God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at your neighbor, hit them on the shoulder, say, neighbor, you are too far. I said hit your neighbor on the shoulder. Don't stop them, hit them hard. Tell them, neighbor, you are too far. Ah, what is this? Because of one car, automatic car, which doesn't even have gears. You are, you are, you are shouting. You are, you are shaking. Abraham's blessing. Those who believe they are sons and daughters of Abraham. Hmm. 350 servants. Married. Hmm? Which means 700. In the house of one man. And then each family. Eh? It was a, there was no family planning. Minimum seven children. <laughs> so seven times 350. So you're talking about 3,000, over 3,000 people were in his house, feeding them himself. Even when there was war, he took soldiers from his own house to go and fight the war. Yes, and there is that king of Sodom or something. Um, the, the, the other five kings that came to fight the, the, the people in Sodom because his brother was there. His, I mean, his nephew was there. Hallelujah. He took soldiers from in his, in his own house. He never hired any soldier. Mm. Now, do you know how much soldiers eat? Mm. No, first of all, do you know uh, the portion the soldiers eat? <laughs> <laughs> Those are some one hungry people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my God. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. neighbor. There is a problem here. Don't shout and speak things you do not know. Somebody said, may the glory of God rest upon me. May the glory of God rest upon me. In your flesh, Bambita, will keep you where you are. You will be like ordinary person. The only success you know, it is because of what you have done. But when you are in the spirit also, what you have done in the flesh will be tripled by what the spirit of God is able to do unto That's you. That's right. No rich man became a rich man by working. Work doesn't make anybody rich. So flesh cannot make you rich. You need supernatural connection into business world or something. Mm. What am I saying? I am saying to us, Moses cried and said, show me your glory. There is a prayer you need to pray. The prayer is Father. I beg so that when you are singing here, show me your glory. Oh, when you are singing, I say, for your glory, I will do anything. The glory of God is all over. See all these things are suffering to get married. They will line themselves up. Asian, say no. Asian, English, no. White, yeah. Amen. You are suffering because you are not operating in your glory, my friend. Yes. 
When you are in there, oh my God, I remember I was before an interview, and the interview I got zero percent, I got the job. The job. The interview is nothing. Amen. Interview is nothing. Man of God. Yes, sir. Am I only speaking to you? Do you need the glory more? Yes, sir. More and more. Hallelujah. You don't need to be painting your face for you to attract anybody. Oh, I don't have confidence when I don't have paint on my face. One hour painting yourself. When the glory of God is upon you. I said when the, my God. I cannot hear your amen. I said my God. I said when the glory of God is upon you. God can transfer a man from anywhere only to come and meet you and marry you. Yes. There are some people who say, oh, we need to go in the courtship. We need to do. There are some uh, weddings that are emergence. Yes. I had one daughter in my house. My God, I wish I had time in your church. <laughs> I had one daughter in my house. This daughter was suffering. See there. The, the brother who was staying with her left to go to another province. But her, because she loved our church, she said, I don't want to go. I want to stay here. I referred her to another pastor of ours. She started crying. No, Bishop, I don't want to go there. I want to come to your house. I said, my wife will agree this. You know, I said, okay, all right, let me intercede in my spirit. I so that my wife will accept. You know, the house is the house of the woman. Yes. Yes. I there, honey, please, uh, did some rapport, you know. <laughs> Finally, my wife said, okay, she can come, but when is she leaving? <laughs> I said, honey, very soon. <laughs> you know, my house is small. There is no space here for anybody. You know, okay, fine. We, she comes. She's staying with us. I was feeling pity for that girl. I used to pray for her. Ha! A man can, came from nowhere. Mm. Huh? Andy, 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 Andy. Connected. It was your friend. Came from nowhere. In the meeting. I think it was Rebecca who brought it there. They're having youth meeting. Brr, 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 brr. That man looks at Sive. The glory of God was covering that girl. The man said, no, I want to marry you. Hey. Do you know how long it took? Two months. Two months, white wedding. Oh. Forget, he said, forget, forget the courtship. Forget all these things they do. Me, straight marriage. The mother was trying to object. The, the man said to the mother, if you do, you, I'm no longer your son. This one I must marry. No, she said, from this guy, they are bad. This bit does not matter. When the glory of God is upon you, even the opposition will be opposed. Yes. yes. Uh, right. Somebody shout and say, the glory rest upon me. Rest upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's try to conclude. Hallelujah. Amen. The glory. When you are praying, you must remind God. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 27, this is the mystery that was there for many ages. Hallelujah. 127. And it says, but, finally has been revealed to us by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And he said, this is the glory. This is, this is the mystery. That Christ in me is what? The hope of glory. glory. Christ in me is what? The hope of glory. Look at your neighbor. Christ in you, Christ Christ in you must glorify you. Must glorify you. Somebody said to somebody, Christ in you Christ must in glorify you. Must glorify God, Jesus is the hope of my glory. Yes. Jesus is all I need yes. to get this glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Are you getting blessed? Amen. Yes. The Bible says, the Bible says Jesus prayed in the book of John. John chapter 17. I'm trying to download. Somebody read for me. 17. 17. 17. John. 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 Johan. Chapter 17. What does it say? Jesus spoke these words. Uh -huh. Lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, uh -huh. Father, Father, the hour has the come. The hour has, has, come. has come. Glorify your, your son. son. That, that your son, your son also may, may glorify, glorify you. you. Thank you very much. The Lord was praying. Hallelujah. The Lord was praying. Jesus. He said, The hour has come. Somebody said, The hour has come. The hour has come. Look at your 
neighbor say, your hour has come. Your hour Look has at come. your neighbor say, your hour has come. Your hour Somebody has say, come. my hour has come. My hour Jesus has said, come. children of God, mm -hmm. glorify your son, mm -hmm. oh my father in heaven. Mm -hmm. You cannot glorify yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? You cannot glorify yourself. This thing is a, is a gift that comes from above. It is an endowment that comes from Jesus. That he comes down and puts glory in his house. Amen. So you cannot do it yourself. It is not by your works. It is not by what you are doing. It is about God himself coming to put a signature upon you that this is my house. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says glorify me, O oh Father, that I may glorify you. You can never glorify God if God does not glorify you. You can never give anything to God if God has not given it to you. Whatever we have belongs to God. Therefore, children of God, I want you to pray today and desire that the glory of God, ah, that our Father in heaven, Jesus Christ, might glorify you. Enough is enough. We are living in the injury time now. We are living in the extra time now. Anytime Jesus is coming, yes. you cannot come with a house like this which is not glorified. May the Lord glorify you that you may be ready to show forth the manifestation of the power of Almighty God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, if you not do it, look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. If it's not you, it's then, not who? then who? Raise the dead. Heal the sick. If it is not you, then who? Who has hands like your hands? May you become the house of the Lord. Amen. I said, may you be glorified. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Glorify your house. I said, I have glorified it already, mm. but I am going to glorify it again. He glorified you, but he's ready to glorify you again. Amen. Stand Amen. up on your feet. Amen. Stand up on your feet. <laughs> Sing the song of the glory. For your glory. The glory of God when He comes upon you. I don't know what you're looking for, but when the glory of God comes upon you, that incurable disease, <laughs> that problem, Holy Ghost will melt it away. Holy Ghost, children of God, the, the, the glory of God is everything. Hallelujah. The glory of God is everything. I want you to desire all three levels of glory. Hallelujah. All three levels of glory. The Kachema glory. The Shakaina glory. I want you to desire the Kabod glory. The Kachema glory is the glory all over the world. The Shakaina glory is the glory of the house of the Lord. The Kabod glory is the glory of the Holy of Holies. That which is found in the Ark of the Lord is the Kabod glory. Ha! Jesus. Randabo Satakaria. Randabo Satakaria. Randabo Glory. 
Somebody pray, somebody pray. These are the glory. The glory. Lift your voice and pray. I want you to be desperate for the glory of God. I want you to be desperate for the presence of God. For the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. this place to remove some of this stuff now remove them no no fancy fanciness these chairs please move them for me move them for me i want you to stand yeah you are a soldier now wait i want to pray for someone i want to pray for someone who is desperate for the glory of god somebody say Especially people that used to move. You, when, when you're moving, you can even feel the presence of God, but you no longer feel it. <laughs> Those that are saying, Father, if you glorify anybody, glorify me. Glorify me. Uh, my worship of this God. Anybody who wants to join these people, you want, you want the glory of God. Uh, I want you to step up here quickly. Rekadabo Saba, Raten de Soto, Rekadabo Saba, Randabo Saraba, Rekadabo Sheke, Randabo Sataraba. In the name of Jesus, leave that cloth. I told you. Leave the cloth. I don't need your cloth. Come here, stand here with, uh, with us. You are God. You are the one God wants to move to another one. Randabo Seteri Abaya. When the glory of God comes down, desire the glory. Desire the glory. Desire the glory. Randabo Sataraba. When the glory of God is upon a man, Randabo Seke Yandabaya, Rebaba Satoro Bosendia, Rekanabo Sabaya Kata, Rebaba Satoro Bosanda, Rekanabo Seteriaba, Rekanabo Sababa Seteria, lift your hands unto the Lord, 
Let the Lord fill you with a fresh glory. Let the Lord fill you. Lift your hands. Be desperate and the Spirit of God. There is no man. There is no man who brings the glory. It is the Holy Spirit. It is the work of the Holy Ghost. It is the work of the Holy Ghost. It is the work of the Holy Ghost. Let the Spirit of God start to visit you. Let the Spirit of God start to visit you. Let the Spirit of God come on. Come on, help me, help me, help me. Let the Spirit of God start to help you now. Let the name of Jesus go. Let 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 go.
change your levels. So much into the spirit. Hallelujah. So much into the spirit. So I don't know what was happening in my life. And I don't know what is happening now. But the spirit of God is resting upon you. And that which is deposited in you, God shall make it to flow. Brother Mwanda, you have a gift of uh, teaching. Gift as a teacher. Please pray and flourish in that gift God has given you as a teacher. Others are called to be pastors, others are apostles. You are a teacher. Amen. But you cannot be until you study very much the Word of God. Amen. Not necessarily the Bible school, the Word of God. God will be giving you revelation on how to expound the Word of the Living God. We are not here only for ourselves, we are here to serve the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has given you grace. This woman, yes. come here. This woman, a uh, man of God, encourage her a lot. Mm -hmm. Because this one, she is a preacher. She is the preacher of the word of God. You've been telling her, yeah? You will preach the word on to men. And you don't have much time. So this thing of delaying tactics doesn't work for you. You understand? I'm too busy. You are not busy. Create time mm. Mm -hmm. to do the work of God. We are not here to make dollars. Those who are building houses in Zambia, those who are buying properties, leave them. Do what God wants you to do. You will find them. Eh? Do what God is calling you to do. If we have no time, then what are we going to do for the things of the Lord? Mm -hmm. We have to create time. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. May God give you the anointing. To be a preacher of the word all over the world. To preach to many. Many will see the hand of God in the name of Jesus. The glory of God, even in the latter times, mm. even in your old age, you will carry so much presence of God. Mm. And when you carry this presence of God, please pray for people, woman of God. Pray for people. Don't, don't shun away. Don't say what will they say. Forget the law of America. Don't speak about Jesus. Don't go to people's... No, you be different. If they jail you, please jail you. Call me when you're in jail. I'll call you to say, God bless you while you're in jail. <laughs> <laughs> please be a radical woman. Yes. This woman is a radical spirit. Hallelujah. Be a yeah. radical yeah. woman. Yeah. Do yes. what God can, yeah. has called you to do. Yes. And affect lives of men. Don't visit friends when you're just chatting. Visit them. With the purpose of the word of God. Yes. Amen. Transform whoever is around you. In the name Father of Jesus. Amen. Can everybody put your hands on your head? Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, what when the glory of God comes ah, upon this ministry? Special glory. Yeah. Upon this ministry, yeah. let it flow, oh, let it come, let it flow, let it come, let it flow, let it come. The glory upon this house be restored. The glory of dominion ministry be restored. The kingdom dominion. Ah, I pray for the glory. I pray for the glory. I pray the original glory. I pray for the original glory. For that to return to the house. And many shall come. Many souls shall come. Many people shall come. They control not by your will. Not by anything. But by the glory of God. The glory of God that trusts people. In the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God rest upon this house. And attract many. Great men. In the name of Jesus. People will not only come from this vicinity, says the Lord. People are not coming only from this vicinity, says the Lord. I see cars driving from very far places, coming to your church in the name of Jesus. For they shall hear that the Lord is there. They shall hear that the presence of God is in that place. In the name of Jesus, Father, I hold hands on this and I release that which is meant by heaven. That which is written from heaven. Let the Lord God upon this ministry. Now, in the name of Jesus, may they be favored. May they be loved. May they be attracted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, we bless you. Father, I pray for each and every person here. They are your house. 
They are the temple of the Holy Spirit. May your glory rest upon them. They cannot glorify themselves. You are our hope of glory. As Jesus, you pray to your Father to glorify you. So we pray unto you, Jesus. Glorify us, Father. Glorify each and every person represented here. In the name of the Father, that of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Father, glorify yourself in the name of Jesus. That your people may go beyond the flesh. That they may go beyond what they can only achieve. In the name of Jesus. Rabo Saba, Rabo Yandamaya. Upon this year, in the midst of the glory, there is also wisdom. May the wisdom rest upon your people. Yes. That they may excel in everything they do. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray. As everybody shout and say, Amen. 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 Amen.